Hi and welcome back to another Amazon selling video. My name is Nikki Kirk and I'm in my truck studio today because I'm going to take you sourcing to a brand new to me store, Fleet and Farm. Now if you're in my community you probably know Jan and she's always telling me about this store and I've never been because it's up in the Midwest I believe. Anyways, I'm here in Iowa and they have one. I saw it from the road. I saw how massive it is. I thought well I better check that out and I will take you with me because I'm gonna be brand new never sourced a store so it's kind of like a new seller. I have no idea what to expect. I know they have from a billboard I saw like they do have groceries and I think it's kind of like a farm outdoorsy store. So yeah let's just get in there and see how it goes. I've got a truck full of stuff because I'm actually in the middle of a sourcing day and this is one of my stops, so I thought I would just take you with me. But anyways, the truck's getting pretty dang full back there. So I have only really the passenger seat and then, you know, the rest of to the roof back there because we're in Q4 and the truck gets real full during Q4. Okay, so that store is actually a lot of fun. It's like a orange Walmart. Well, parts of it anyways. It's like an orange Walmart, but like with a lot more outdoors. So anyways, I could see myself shopping there when I have some land. But how did I do? So first up, I went to Halloween because I saw it and obviously I'm on the hunt for Halloween stuff. So they do have some Halloween stuff. They have like the name brands, you know, they don't have any store brand stuff here. So that's really nice. I mean, they do have store brand stuff, but not like, you know, at Walmart or Target where everything is store brand also mixed in. So you're kind of trying to find the name brand through that. Like Wooten, for example, the baking stuff. So at Target and Walmart, they have their own, you know, brand of stuff that's also hanging in the same area, but here it's just Wilton. So I just scanned, went through it all didn't find anything profitable but i definitely scanned it because i have sold that kind of stuff in the past then i saw they had some you know little figurines and i know sometimes that stuff does well so i did find one i was able to get ungated in it and of course the app is having a glitch so not only did i get ungated in it and i saw it was fine then i had to I went back to scan it you, you know you have to like close the app and do all that stuff well the new glitch is that it still won't say you're ungated but so i pull up seller central go to add a product there like on your web browser and then it says congratulations you're approved duh already was but that way when you go back to the app it will show that you're ungated and it's just an annoying glitch that's going on and it's been going on for about a month now hopefully they fix it also in the halloween aisle they had some cereals which are like retro so i went ahead and scanned them they have them um, you know obviously this is cereal that's been around so they have the regular box but this is a 50 year old retro so i went ahead and scanned the front and found this bundle it's a bundle of three of them together it makes five dollar profit so i went ahead and grabbed some of those so that's just really easy all you do is put them in a poly bag put a this is a set sticker on it and they are good to go you do want to be careful when you're getting grocery items first to check the date the dates were perfectly fine but at places like grocery outlet or ollie's or just kind of general discount stores they will have closer dates and usually i can never find cereal with a date that's worth it 
Also, you almost always have the bundle cereal to be able to sell it. So just FYI, you always want to look for bundles if you find a cereal that is like a hot cereal. It's usually a two pack, three pack, four pack, whatever, but yeah, that's cereal. And then I went through and I scanned costumes, but they were all Ruby's brand and Ruby's I cannot sell, but I did scan them anyways. There was not a whole lot, so it didn't take that long. Just went through, scanned, da -da -da -da, down the road. <laughs> Then they had a big old Carhartt area, so I thought, oh, what the heck? Like, I scanned one and asked for approval, but it did not get approved. Then they had a big Dickies area, so I went ahead and scanned, and I did get approved for Dickies. However, they are more expensive here than on Amazon, so that didn't really pan out. But I did just look up one, so I was interested to see, you know, this one had like 150 rank in clothing, so it's kind of a higher rank, but I wanted to just see what the deal was. So I went ahead and looked it up on Keepa just to see what it was selling for when they had it and i wanted to know if the rank goes up or down because 150 is like a high rank in clothing but if it's just sold out and that's why the rank is up if it used to be you know lower then maybe i would want to get it but when i went to keep it it had no nothing no history nothing so i don't know if it's brand new or what it's random that it would have a rank and be brand new with no keep a history so i have no idea what went on there but just thought i would share i don't always know everything people I'm not an expert. I'm just doing this thing. They actually had a ton of clearance, so I went through and scanned it. They had light bulbs, they had hunting stuff, they had fishing stuff. I went through and scanned quite a bit of it, almost all of it, just because if they did have stuff that made a profit from the clearance aisle, then that would be a key to me to go, hey, I found some fishing stuff. Maybe I should go to the fishing aisles and scan some more there. But nothing really came out. But no matter where you're scanning, if you are scanning the clearance aisle when you're starting, it's great because then you'll know, hey, oh, like for me, I scanned insoles and I happened to find them at Walmart when I first started. And so then I was on the hunt for insoles and it just kind of leads you to new places. So not always will you find something in the clearance aisle, but it might show you something that you wouldn't have thought to scan. Never would have scanned insoles. Now I do all the time. There were some in the clearance aisle here. I just kept making my way around the store. I didn't get too into detail and all the like tools and all that kind of stuff because that would literally, you could probably take three or four days to scan this entire store if you wanted to. Um, it's a lot. So I went to water bottles next as I went around the store and they had Under Armour water bottles. So I scanned some of them. Here's a couple. They don't have a great ROI, but they do make a profit. And then I went over to the pet aisles. There's a ton of pet stuff. A ton, but I didn't really scan a whole lot of it. Mostly I just got my cat some food. Then I went over to the grocery aisles and I did just like I would at Walmart. So I went to the coffee. They have a lot of K cups and just coffee brands. So I scanned all of that. Altogether, I didn't spend a whole lot and I probably am gonna profit $200 off of what I bought here. Um, I think the thing with this store is that they have an online store so you can order no matter where you're at. And I think it's like a deal thing. So like if K-Cups are on sale, you want to like kind of get them. So I signed up for their program. So now I'm on the list. So I'll probably get all the deals and details and all that. And now I can shop them because I am pretty close to getting a home base pretty soon. So I'm excited because I can do a lot more OA. I don't really do online arbitrage all that much because it's hard to get mail on the road. But anyways, I hope this video was helpful for you. I enjoy scanning new stores, especially like there's not a whole lot. I'm doing Walmarts, there's one Marshalls, one Target. There's not a whole lot to scan here, so it's the perfect opportunity in this city to go scan a new store, and that one was massive. So I was going to go scan another new store, but I can't. One's my limit today. So anyways, I hope this video was helpful. If you want to see more from me, I have a ton of sourcing videos. I've got new seller playlists, so you can just go through and learn all the basics. I have a beginner FBA selling course. If you want to join the community, go through the course, get my personal help. I'm in the group all the time answering questions. You can do that. You can find it. The link is below in all my videos. If you need help on gating and grocery topical OTC toys, premium brands like Under Armour, Nike, and Adidas. I have those guides as well. Almost everything you get from me comes with a really awesome community of sellers and the community of sellers is the best thing, honestly, out of everything I've done. The whole community is my favorite part of it because you guys are awesome and I really love talking and learning from you in the group. So feel free to join any of those, whichever one is gonna help your business. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you back here for another Amazon selling video.